reducing your re emotional range high Charlie giving today's video so what we're we talking about here well if you think of your emotional range like uh, and you charted it for a lot of uh, especially newer traders but actually there's quite a lot of experienced traders uh, are like this as well whereby you go from um, points of extreme let's say pessimism down here pessimism down there there we go <laughs> and um, feelings of despondency wanting to quit or just feeling low um, all of those sorts of emotions down there um, on the back of you know losing spells drawdowns in tradings etc um, but then you experience feelings of euphoria you oops you Euphoria. There we go. <laughs> uh, up here as a trader, an excitement on the back of winning trades or winning spells, then that's not a good thing. You don't want to be getting excited about winning trades. That leave that to the beginners out there and all all of those people out there around the world who behave like that. It's not just beginners who are like that actually. Um, so leave the excitement, leave the euphoria to them. Because if you get excited about the winners, how are you going to feel when the losers come along as far as trading is concerned? So there's no point in allowing yourself to get excited up here because it just means that you're going to uh, feel frustrated and all those other emotions down here. So what we actually need to do is be constantly working as traders on that emotional range and make the emotional range a much more desensitized range so rather than having it these big swings in our emotions which actually is tiring <laughs> um, it, it elevates cortisol levels which isn't necessarily healthy uh, creates it's a stress uh, hormone of course so we don't need any of that we've got to work now it's understandable that someone who's newer is more likely to be experiencing this but you've got to work towards getting up here whereby you're not experiencing those those big swings in emotions and the the emotions you feel are, you know are more uh, much more de uh, desensitized you know maybe you get some a mild irritation after a losing spell or just getting stopped out only for a trade to go up it's just a mild irritation it's not much more than that and likewise when you have a winning spell you can sense that you're starting to feel that euphoria but you recognize it so maybe you take a day or two off or you just recognize it and you rein that emotion back in so that you're constantly having a very subtle emotional range which means what every time you go into the new trades in the future you're not carrying the baggage of this huge emotional ranges that other traders are having which is only going to affect you taking the next trades. So you can't afford to have these massive, more emotional ranges because it's just going to affect your future trading. There's plenty of tricks in how to reduce our emotional ranges. One, a simple trick is to, to reduce, if you're feeling like you're getting these big emotional swings, the, the first thing to do, there's lots of mindset things to do, and we cover this off a lot in my community, but one thing is look at your risk. Are you risking too much per trade? Could you reduce your risk per trade? And therefore, because you imagine you've got someone who's trading, uh, I don't know, at $100 a point, and you've got someone else who's trading at 10 cents a point. It's more likely the person who's trading at 10 cents a point is going to have less emotion than the person who's trading at $100 a point. So have a look at how much you're risking per trade, even if you're risking a, nor a normal sort of amount. But if you're still emotional, then maybe you're not ready for that amount at the moment. Let's take like risking, let's say, even 1% per trade. Well, if you're still very emotional trading at 1% per trade, then maybe you're not ready for that at the moment and knock it down to half a percent or a third of a percent, whatever the levels are, whereby you can deal with the um, the market's behavior emotionally much better and have that small desensitized range. Now that by itself won't 
do it all, but it's the first step in starting to really get in touch with how to manage your emotional range because the better you are at doing that, the better the trader you become. Why? Because you're not carrying baggage into future trades. That's what it's all about.